Hi, here is a nude lip look and I want to show you a very simple way to have apply the nude lipstick on your skin tone. Yes, any skin tone can wear nude lipsticks. So if you want to get this look, keep on watching. So here are my three lip liners that I will be using for this look. The first is uh, MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. This is a very um, dark, deep brown lip liner. The second will be the MAC Mahogany Lip Liner. This it has a bit of like an orange undertone. I really, really love this for bright nude lip looks. The third one will be the Davis Pencil. I decided to include this because I wanted something that was affordable and you know people would have access to very easily so there is no excuse for you not to rock the nude lip yeah my favorite lipstick sorry for all the like scratches and everything shows how much I love them this is the Milani lipstick in nude cream it's a satin finish so it still leaves a bit of a sheen after it has been applied i really love this next will be the milani lipstick in matte naked this is matte as the name implies but it's still smooth enough to have easy application so depending on the color of the undertone of your lips the darker your lips the darker you want to go with the pencils like um if i'm you know really dark skin i would want dark tone i will go with the something a brown lip shade that is similar to chestnut mac mahogany lip liner combined with nude cream lipstick and then finished with the oyster girl lip gloss i'm going to try um, trend lipsticks so um I want, i'm going for a bit of a brighter look so the first step will be to line the lip and then um, just to feather it in a bit. So I like starting with the lip liner because it kind of gives a softer look. It blends easily with the lipstick rather than applying the lipstick and then the lip liner on top of it. That way the lip liner moves around. But when the lip liner is first, one is able to blend the lip liner on the lip and then it also has longer staying power when the lip liner is first because it stays on the lip rather than moving around on the lipstick and you can see I, I am able to blend that easily without it smudging and then it stays in place next I'll be following this with the application of the, the Milani lip line, lipstick sorry in nude cream very lovely peachy kind of nude um, lipstick with a satin finish easy to apply and what i love about it so much is the fact that it has good coverage it doesn't skip unlike a lot of some nude lipsticks you may find out that they skip but this is lovely but um just to give it a bit of an sorry it's not a matte lip so i'm going in with my mac lip glass in oyster girl. sorry you couldn't see that your girl is still elena Please subscribe if you haven't, if you've watched this far, please subscribe. You don't want the other color, the brown lip liner to show so much. You can just apply a thinner line of it, but I, I like it giving you a bit of something. So look two is the MAC lip liner chestnut and the lipstick in matte naked. So first I'm going in with the MAC lip liner in chestnut. This is one dark pigmented lip liner. I mean <laughs> it is so so pigmented. I mean 
it and it's so soft so you can see just that line and i'm blending it in so i'm going in next with the matte naked milani matte naked lipstick and i'm applying right in the center there you know the plan is to feather the lip liner into the lipstick such that it's graduated and it's not sharp so i'm still going to have to apply a little bit more because i don't want the lip to be too dark so maybe i should have just like um put just a a, a stripe of the lip liner so that it's not so dark but i mean it's adjustable so you can apply more of the lipstick or increase the lip liner as depending on your lip shape for me i prefer that i have more of the brightness in the center so you can see that the lip liner is so 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 pigmented it's almost overpowering that um that lipstick so i mean if you even if you have a deeper skin tone than i do you can always get away with using a lip liner like chestnut and you will still have a lovely lip look and yes trust us we'll still go back like three four times with that nude lip <laughs> lipstick and then apply at the surface again yeah we just like it bright sorry the third look davis pencil and minali lipstick in nude cream so like i said this is readily available so you don't have an excuse really not to rock that nude lipstick look so first i'll go in as always applying that at the to define the edge of the lip just so that your nude lip doesn't have like a funny you know look so i'll follow that up with application of the nude cream lipstick and then i'll blend together yes i could have done with a brush but no i just want to do something that is um, easy for anyone to follow whether you have a lip brush or you don't have a lip brush it doesn't have to be technical it just has to be simple I'm going in with it, another coat of that lip so it, like i said it's adjustable you want to keep applying till you have the desired finish and then topping off with my um lip gloss even if you don't have a champagne colored lip gloss you can even use a clear colored lip gloss on it you know as long as it doesn't change the color it's still fine you may just end up with this um look and i mean you may like this but i can just go back in to um define the edges in there so I'm going back in to line the edges to apply them. In fact, I will argue that nude lipsticks are actually, well, they're, I would say they're the easiest to wear, like when you're in a hurry, because just you can just dab it into and then put your brown liner and a gloss, and you don't have to work so much to blend it in. So I've gotten a little bit of dimension at the edge of the lips there. So there you have it. Three looks, um, nude lips, matte, glossy. Sure, it's, it's always picture time. After all this like drama, I take pictures and look fine. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, follow, share. Thanks for watching. Bye.